it off like this, we'll get lost, and it'll take you hours to find you, and we'll miss the boat to Rome. You shouldn't run off like this. Me? Blame it on me? You idiot! If you would listen to Mama! You still be sitting in Grace waiting for Mama to finish talking. Don't you dare criticize Mama! She comes from one of the finest families in Grace. You only hate her because you know you're married above your station. Why, if I didn't keep pushing you, we'd never have anything. If I didn't hide money away, you'd spend it all on heart. I mean, how many of these do you need? I hate heart. I might be so. It's one of the finest parts that money can buy. Sure it is. You buy all expensive toys for yourself. But when I wanted you to take me on a vacation, you said we couldn't afford it. Relax. When I'm tired or have a problem, playing the heart for that. And besides, I am taking you on a vacation. <laughs> to Rome? That's your idea of a vacation? Getting lost in the desert while you would stand in your shoes? Getting sunburned? Mama told me you mistreat me. Mama told me I'd get tickled. Mama told me I'd get calluses. Mama told me. Did Mama tell you that you give me a headache?
morning. Um, he wants me to take it out. Don't you, old fellow? Oh, please! Now remind me. I want you to stay behind that rock and be quiet. I'm going to soothe the savage feeling with music from my heart until he lies down and rolls over on his back. Then I'm going to pat him on the ear and his head. And when he isn't looking, I want to grab the corn and pull it out. Thank <laughs> you. 
There you 
purchase new household slaves. Show me your wares. Uh, 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 bring that three in place. Now these two are just what you need. A couple. <coughs> having been newly enslaved, having been captured in the Macedonian desert only last week. Now they are sturdy and unemployed, <coughs> cooperative, meek and, and mild. Don't let that harpy open up her mouth. In the desert, you say? In Macedonia? How come they're wearing Thracian clothes? Well, you see, sir, Hermione, that's my wife, and I were on our way from Thracian Road to find our fortune, but for some terrible misunderstanding. The slave has captured us and brought us here. I'd be happy, sir, to work for you three days until I can establish myself and apply for Roman citizenship. You don't seem to understand, do you? You are now one of Caesar's slaves. Are these the best you have? I'm not going to pay much for this. Examples? Why, sir, these are the misfits. Please, come to my stall. We'll arrange for the transfer of ownership. Now, Hermione, I'm going to take this bag off your head, and I want you to decide whether or not you want to stay alive. If you do, no more shouting. Understood? <laughs> We're going to be slaves for a little while, but only until we can earn some money and buy our freedom. <laughs> Hi, my name is Andrew, and this lovely lady is my wife, Mike. Oh, <laughs> 
Please don't quickly. I simply cannot spend another night in this place. My best, Tusa. 
Andrew Clean. I can stop, idiot! Now, Hermione, baby, come with me. Andrew Cole, I'll take care of you. No, Mama, I can't leave Andrew Clean. He's my husband. I love him. He loves me. If we go, we go together. I'm sorry, Mama. I love you too. But Andrew Clean is my husband, and he needs me. I said, 
you're crazy to save your mother-in-law. The noble crazy to take her place. You hear those lions? They're hungry, ain't it, please? And it doesn't matter whether they make you or a stringy old woman. It isn't going to come to that. I'll think of something, somehow.
Beast with music from my heart. So he lies down and rolls over on his back. 